Hi there and welcome to another episode of My Currency Transfer TV. So we're guessing you're probably graduating this year and thinking of exploring the wonderful world on an ever popular gap year. Maybe you graduated last year and have been working to save up for the trip of a lifetime. So 2014 has seen a load of destinations rise into the most popular places to go on a gap year and we're going to share those with you today. First up, we're pretty sure you've seen your mates on Facebook raving about this place for a while. It's a non-mover, it's Thailand. So say hello to sun, sea and full moon parties. A 12 hour flight and the world is your oyster. Thailand is a magnet for backpackers and it's easy to understand why. You'll be able to find almost every type of accommodation from backpacker hostels to some of the world's most luxurious hotels. Getting around is dead cheap and many people actually find themselves staying longer than intending. Some people never even leave. Want to find out why? Take a gap year in Thailand. Second up, you'd be surprised it's Malaysia. So this is a blend of Chinese, Indian and local Malay culture, giving you three countries in one. Now, once you hit Malaysia, you may not want to leave. Malaysia really is a great place to travel and it's got pretty much everything you want and it's a lot cheaper than places such as Singapore. So from fascinating traditional culture to wilderness and plenty to see and do, you'll never be without something to keep you occupied. Now some of the top things to do in Malaysia include volunteering, going on adventure, expeditions in Borneo and exploring the Southeast Asian Peninsula. Thirdly, New Zealand of course. New Zealand is the perfect place for all you adventure lovers. Now if you're looking for climbing, hiking, trekking, bungee jumping, skydiving, whitewater rafting, zorbing or anything else for that matter, then New Zealand is the place for you. It's really one of those destinations for thrill seekers, almost like a giant theme park. So if you were considering somewhere like Australia, we would definitely recommend swabbing it for New Zealand. Lord of the Rings was filmed there for a reason. Next up, Tanzania. If you're looking to volunteer on a gap year, there are plenty of volunteering projects to choose from such as teaching English as a foreign language or building a community centre. And in your downtime, you've got safaris and treks up Mount Kilimanjaro on your doorstep. You might think Tanzania is just a backpacking cliche, but actually it really does have a diverse amount of super cool stuff to do. In one minute, you can find yourself in a bustling city and the next moment diving off the coast into the ocean. And if you're not too sure what to look for in Tanzania, it's great for volunteering, tours and travelling independently, so you've got plenty of time to make up your mind even once you're there. And last up, we've got Peru. So when it can boast of sites such as the Amazon jungle, the Nazca Lines, Lake Titicaca and of course Machu Picchu, it's easy to see why a lot of backpackers and travellers make this a must on their gap year. Of course it's famous for its Inca history, but the capital of Lima is also great for partying. Peru is a fascinating and beautiful country to travel and a brilliant place to volunteer. So when it comes to taking a gap year in South America, Peru should be at the very top of your places to consider. So we hope you've found these top five destinations useful and we wish you the best of luck and fun on your gap year. Of course, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to tweet us at MyCurrencyTrans or email me directly at Sophia at MyCurrencyTransfer.com. Thank you for watching and goodbye.